Hey YouTube, what's up? So this is going to be kind of an update, but not really. I've been kind of busy with the Japanese Beatles. I don't know if you've seen any of those Beatles, but they are like there's like a huge infestation and they're all like doing it on my peach trees. Anyway, so I've been battling that, uh, kind of fixing phone screens and I have a another DIY TP4056 charger that I made for Linux Pro. He kind of twisted my arm, you know, back there, twisted my arm to build him a new charger. So we kind of came to an agreement and that's what I've been doing for the past week or so. I can show it to you. It's not 100% complete, but for the most part it is. So I'll show you that. I've also uh, repaired Terry's TP4056 charger that I made for him. He somehow let the magic smoke out, so he sent it back to me. I repaired all the TP4056s that were bad, and I installed some of the fast axial glass fuses on those, and on this one as well. So, uh, for my power wall project, the only thing I've done now is I have all of the packs in parallel, so they're all balancing with each other, and I can show you that as well. All right, so here is uh, Linux Pro's charger that I've made for him. He pretty much sent me all the parts the only thing I had to add basically was the sleeves don't worry about my mess right here this is what happens whenever you start doing a project your work area becomes a absolute mess okay so with this charger it is a 24 cell charger all TP 4056s the little meter on the left is the voltage coming in from the power supply and then the voltmeter on this side is just, uh, tells you what the cell is basically. So you could do a quick check on your battery voltage with that one right there. So I tried it out last night. I didn't let out any magic smoke, so everything is good. And you can see how each TP4056 has its own fuse. Those are the fast axial glass fuses. And for the wiring, I just used ethernet cord. I just stripped out the outer insulation and used all the wiring for the inside. Each TP4056 has its own wires. Alright, so basically in these uh, braided sleeves here, I have all of the LAN wires going into a positive and negative these. Basically I use this type of plug, but it had longer wires, so these 12 cells down here go to one side and these 12 cells go to the other side. All the positive and negatives are soldered together right here, and those follow this up to this plug on the end here, this plug, which is a SATA connector. He only sent me two. What he might end up doing is I'm going to send him this plug right here and he might add more, more wires coming in because one of these wires right up here, the plug was actually getting really warm. So I let him know, uh, told him what I would do and uh, I'm going to send him this plug so he can add more, more connectors to kind of balance the load, make it a little more evenly. And the same thing right here, all the positive and negative cables go into uh, a solder joint right here and follow it up into this plug over here. So yeah, that is this DIY TP4056 charger. I did actually start making a how-to build video, but uh, my microphone apparently worked really, really well and picked up a lot of buzzing noises from the ballast of the light above us. So I kind of scrapped that whole uh, video, but this is what it looks like. I guess if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'm possibly might be able to help you. But yeah, that's his charger, it's almost done. I just have to cut all of the little screws to bolt everything down and I'll send it off to him. All right, so Terry sent me his 20 cell charger that I built for him. He sent it back because he let the magic smoke out. We're not exactly sure what happened, but it shorted out some of the TP4056s. So I went ahead and replaced them and am doing a test run on all of it to make sure everything works correctly. And so far it is. All right, here is Terry's. We're almost done with the charging cycle on all of these 
cells here. Uh, the ones that he sent me did have a green LED. So you can see I replaced uh, one, two, three, four TP4056s. And I also uh, redid some of the copper bridges, if you like, down here. And I put the axial fast glass fuses in place of those, just in case there is another smoke removal. It should pop the fuse instead. So this is what it looks like. Alright, so I have all of my positives on one side right now and they are all connected together. And same with the negative side, they're all connected together. And this is what I pretty much did to connect them. I just wrapped them with copper wire for now. I didn't have enough plugs to make like a series connection with them all. So I just paralleled them all by twisting copper wire together. So yeah, that's what I have going on here. I'm going to have to readjust some of the voltages on those meters because I think they're a little bit off. This pack's all been sitting together like this for a little over a week. I guess I'll leave it like this until I either get a charge controller or I start hooking the wires up to the, the server UPS unit that I'm going to be using for my inverter. I also got a whole bunch more of uh, shelving rails and a lot of those are the sliders so that's awesome. I got those today. And here is the negative side. It's pretty much all the same thing. Sorry about the lighting here. But all of the negatives are connected with each other. All right, so that is my update. Not a whole lot going on here, but I am about halfway to three quarters saved up for the PCM60X charge controller that I do plan on getting. Uh, I think they're around 230 or so and $60 shipping. So I think I have about half. I got about half right now. So I'm probably going to try to sell some stuff so I can get it a little bit sooner, but we'll see. Um, unless you want to donate and help me get it, you can donate by clicking on the PayPal or Patreon links down below. Also, check out my affiliate links for some of the stuff I've used or bought for this project. And if you do buy something, I do get just a tiny, tiny percentage and anything and everything helps. All right, so we will see you on the next one. TP 40 feet back here like like this can you see me is to build him a new and uh, he magic smoke and I installed some axial glass and I, uh, I kind of took that up you have to dump 24 and let's see the little and then the bolt and you can write <clears throat> uh, uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, and there's uh, uh, but TP 40 50 uh, um, um, uh, what is that? Um, it.